Hey guys, it's Kelly. I'm back with another process video. This layout is for stuck sketches, and I just had the sketch up to uh, reference what I'm going to be using. I am so excited about this page. This is something that is very different for me, and I am pulling out my Koi watercolors here. What I have done is I went online and I looked up the Slytherin house badge. My son dressed up as Malfoy for Halloween. There's a story that goes with that. I will tell you that in just a minute. And I went through my stash to pull out green papers and not surprisingly, I had very few. I only had two papers that I could find. So I decided to, when I was creating the badge that I would just make my own background for the badge. So this is watercolor paper by Ranger, and I am just mixing some greens on the package, and then I am dabbing some of it off. I want that marbled watercolor effect on the paper so that when I glue down the design, you can see a lot of that pretty color. I am going to also take my Heidi Swap. Color Shine, this is the color Tencel. It's a really pretty gray silver, and I am shaking it until I can, <clears throat> excuse me, hear the ball and feel it shake. Um, there's been some people say that their gold Heidi Swap Color Shine has like an oily appearance. You need to shake the bottle until you hear the ball. Now, if you're doing it and you don't hear the ball, that means you haven't shaken it enough. Put it down, come back to it, and shake it some more and eventually you will hear the ball and that's how you know that the product has been mixed up well enough to use. So as I said, I went online and I found the simplest clip art I could find. I made the mistake of purchasing one off of Etsy and she even said on there, you know, uh, you know, perfect for silhouette and all that. Look, I don't know this lady and I'm not trying to badmouth her, but obviously she cuts out things for like t-shirts. She doesn't cut out for scrapbooks because it didn't matter how slow I put the setting, it was tearing, ripping. Um, I'm still debating on whether to leave her feedback because it's beautiful, but I mean, come on, if you're, if you're going to be, you know, saying it's for a silhouette, you should be able to at least put a disclaimer on it that, you know, the cut file needs to be cut out at a certain size. Some people are good and can look at um, a design. Sometimes the design you can't quite tell until you pull it into the software, or at least I can't. So that, I guess, is my word of caution. If you were going to do something as intricate as this, um, if Ashley or Nicole, Noah Saad don't have it, or if the Silhouette store doesn't have it, I would just be careful with who else, um, you know, make sure it's a scrapbooker that you buy your um, files from. Granted, it was only like two or three bucks, but still, I'd rather spend my two or three bucks on something that I can actually use. So anyway, long story is, I finally found something that was plain enough online and free to cut it out with, and so I just uh, copied it and traced it in my silhouette software and this is what I came out with. I did print it off and well not print it off I cut it out three different times and all three times being the same size. I did that so I could do exactly what I'm doing now. I've got the main part of the badge as a dark gray. I have the snake as kind of a shiny silver and then I've got the black for the words or the letters that spell out Slytherin. When making your own custom die cut like this, it really sets it to a whole new level when you have the different colors involved and you can nestle them in. I just felt like when I was done with this piece that it was like a masterpiece. We all know it's not a masterpiece, you know? I mean, let's be real. But I was so happy with the way that this turned out. Yes, it did take time. It took time, you know, to let this dry. It took time cutting it out. It took time trying to plan around it. But for me, that's that's part of the creative process. And when I get a page that I love as much as I do on this one, especially when it's something that I would not normally do, it's worth it for me. 
So I did edit out the fussy cutting of this die cut. It did take me a while. I used my little cutter bee scissors and I tried to trim right underneath the edge of the badge so that none of the watercolor paper was gonna show. And then I just took some distress ink and I inked the edges. I went up over top of the die cut a little bit just to add more of that marbling aged effect for it. Um, looking online, you kind of see how it has some various colors in that. It makes it look more realistic and more like a prepared die cut, even though it's not. And um, that just, that little extra, I think gives it um, a lot more definition and a lot more detail. So one of the other things that I am super happy about with this layout is that most everything is either scraps or it's been in my stash for a long time. I say most because the, the sequins from Spiegel Mom scraps are not. Um, I pulled in the label die cuts that you see on the left. They were from my December daily stash and I mess up the stamping on it so I end up using something else because I was not going to waste another label on something that could potentially mess up. But the, this green paper here is from Studio Calico and it's probably like 2011. That gray paper that I am getting ready to switch out because it is too much like the background paper is also an old Studio Calico paper. And this came in a Studio Calico kit. I have not received a Studio Calico kit, oh goodness, in several years. I wanna say maybe since 2011 or 12. So that's how long it's been in my stash. But I am perfectly content with good basic papers like that staying in my stash when it comes to layouts like this and I'm pulling them out and using them. I was inspired to go through my stash and pull things not only for this page but for a couple of other pages because I had read on a couple of boards how people wanted to see you digging into old older papers or you know scraps and things like this so I have this layout and two others coming up where I have dug into my stash and I'm using not only older papers um, and a couple of layouts I think I'm just using scraps you know not including my background paper so at this point I'm going into my Halloween stash and trying to pull out some other things that can work on the page um, I had pulled that plastic, not plastic, the glassine bag, and I wanted to see if I could use that, but I didn't like the way that it looked. And since I kind of got stuck, I decided to go ahead and do something that I knew I wanted to do, and that was just to rough up the edges on these pattern papers, just to add a little bit more interest. I did want to see if I could get some washi tape used on this, but I just didn't like it. So you're going to see me rip it up in just a minute. And I'm going to pull some silver glitter paper and cut a strip off of that and use that instead. The Under the Spell die cut was also from a Studio Calico kit um, when I got one of their Halloween add-ons. I don't have a large Halloween stash. I put that aside hopes and you know with hopes that I could use it and I just could not believe when I pulled it out how perfectly it went with this Harry Potter themed page under your spell. I was so excited you guys I went and I showed my son and he was laughing at how excited I was over this page. Of course you know he thought it was cool but he wasn't going to say it in those kind of words but he did look at it and I think he did appreciate all of the detail. So I am taking my Wink of Stella and I'm going over the snake. I wanted it to have a little bit more oomph and I was going to do glossy accents, but you know what? I cannot find it. I was, I was sure I had a bottle in my stash and I looked in Michael's the other day and I couldn't find it. So if you've seen it in Michael's, let me know or Hobby Lobby or AC Moore because I want to say I looked in both and I couldn't find it and I hate to order it online just when I'm ordering that and I looked at Amazon and it's you know like an add-on item or whatever so if you've seen it in a smaller or a big box craft store let me know so I can see if I can find it maybe I was just looking in the wrong section so because I brought the silver uh, paper up top I wanted to have a little strip at the bottom that also is in the sketch and that green diagonal stripe paper I'm sorry that it is off 
screen right now, that is from my Felicity Chain Christmas kit last year. And no kidding, I think I had one other green paper in my stash. Um, others are either Christmas themed or just the wrong kind of green. And um, I was just, I was happy that I was at least able to get enough to make the page where I like it. So now comes time for the fun part. I did buy these sequins just for this page. I mean, how could I not? It had the Slytherin colors. It was perfect. And the greens are actually so versatile. It's not necessarily a green that just goes with these colors. You could definitely use this on multiple projects. The green is gorgeous. I plan on keeping them out for my December projects for that little hint of green. Um, you will see me moving them around quite a bit. It's just what I do. I am so indecisive when it comes to putting down my sequins. I like them to look random and organic and yeah, it's just something that I have to work for. Because of course, you know, when I try to throw them down on the page and have them sprinkle aside, they stick to my fingers or they all blob up in one area. So the other sequins that I add are small stars and they are from Felicity Jane. It's from a kit that I've had in my stash for a long time. So that's it for me. Be sure and check out the Stuck Sketches blog. We have, all of the designers have put up pages and we'd love for you to check them out and participate. And if you do, you have a chance to win a prize from uh, one of our two sponsors this month. So I, I wanted to mention the word stickers that I just put on the page are from Tim Holtz Small Talk. I would have not thought that I would have been able to find something that would work on this page from just regular random non-themed stickers and they say those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Again, perfect for this page. I had a blast making this page. I know it's different than something that I normally do but sometimes that's what makes creating fun. So thanks so much for joining me today guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.